We could watch that video for hours. Welcome back to The Insiders, <laughs> Judy Batista, Stacey Dales, and the star of that video, friend of the show, Packers great Hall of Famer, Leroy Butler, and a belated happy birthday to you, Leroy. Well, thank you. How thank you very you much. I really appreciate yeah. it. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Let's get right to it because the Packers are already into training camp. Jordan mm -hmm. Love is not practicing, although he's there. There seems to be a lot of optimism that the contract is going to get done. What do you expect from him once the contract gets done and we see him on the field? Where do you think he can go from where he ended last season? Well, I just want to let people know that to not panic that he's not signed yet. And I thought it was smart by the team and him to still come to camp and they're going to work it out. Why practice, if, you know, if you're not going to get your contract done? So it's not really a holdout. I mean, I think for the most part, the whole off season, they've been talking about this. Yes, they're going to sign him to a deal. Now, I think, me personally, I don't know, have no inside information, full disclosure, because I'm on the board. I think some of the language <laughs> could hold up <laughs> because I think he should get a no-trade clause. Him and the team should make sure he break this, this old guard up of having a quarterback not finish his career in Green Bay. So he should be able to waive a trade clause, and so does the team. The money is not big of an issue, if you think about it. I thought it was going to be a three-year deal, averaging about $60 million a year. So in the short term, you'll be like the highest paid, but it's not a long-term deal. Do like Tom Brady. No, never be the highest paid. But Tom Brady is the richest. He's the richest. You know you got inside information, Leroy. We know you got inside no, information. No uh, but, uh, nope, nope. <laughs> okay, I, should we put those numbers on the record? Here's my thing, though, Leroy. I mean, you know this. They were the youngest team, the youngest roster in the NFL last season, the first, really, in the Super Bowl era, the youngest roster to win a playoff game. You watched it. Judy watched it. I watched it. Everybody out there watched yeah. it. Doesn't it kind of feel a little bit weird? He's not out there. They didn't get it done with this nucleus of young receivers. You know, what would have been weird, Stacey, had he been like Brandon O'Youk and not even show up and play hardball? Yeah. He was here when it wasn't mandatory. He was always here. And matter of fact, he's in every meeting. He walks out with the coach, I mean, talking. So the good thing about it is the language. You got to get it right because you only have one chance at the body of the apple for your first major contract. And the reason why it's going to benefit the team because it'll be an extension instead of a new deal. Remember, he bet on himself last year when he signed the extension. He's scheduled to make like $11 million. So outside the state, it really not that big of a deal. But I will say this. I did not want to see the headlines of Jordan Love and a contract to be a distraction. But they're going to work it out. He's there. And I think the good thing about it is they've already told him that they're going to do it. They're just working out the language stuff. Leroy, before we let you go quickly, I want to turn to the defense because there's a whole lot of flux yes. there, a lot of changes yeah. there. New defensive coordinators, some questions about the past defense, especially the secondary and the area of the team you know well. So, Give us your scouting report on what that defense is going to look like this year. Real quick, they had a, a different defense, a 3-4 defense. So this year, Halfley comes in, and now it's a 4-3 defense. So now you have to ask some of the guys who stood up, Van Ness and Rashad Gary, are you going to put your hand in the ground to become ends? But they just signed Kenny Clark, by the way, and I don't think they were going to do Jordan Love's uh, contract until Kenny got out of the way. So congratulations to Kenny. But quickly, the reason why Xavier McKinney is going to be so helpful to this defense, he can cover, he can play the deep middle, and he can play down in the box. This defense is going to be an attacking style defense, but they got to be smart. If I had to choose, do I want an attacking style defense? Well, I want a smart defense. I will always choose a smart defense. Because if you think about it, when you're 21 to 17 going into the fourth quarter, you have to figure out ways to get off the field. Because they were only three plays away from going to plan for the NFC Championship game, again, under Matt LaFleur. 
Leroy, thank you for joining the show again. You are always welcome here. I'm sure we're going to see you as camps roll on. I'm glad I had to do it with my we favorite two people. We didn't even get it if they're going to the Super Bowl, Leroy. We didn't even hear it. Yeah, they're going to the Super Bowl because it's in New Orleans. I won Super Bowl 31 in Super Bowl in New Orleans. <laughs> Super Bowl 31. Thank you, Stacey, for that plug. <laughs>